Hi guys, you are watching Puritech and today we are going to flash the most customizable ROM IOC Android 8.1 for OnePlus 6. The ROM is the one of the most customizable and the first ROM for OnePlus 6. So let's get started. Download all the files from the link given in our video description, then boot your phone into the TWRP and wipe your data, Dalvik and cache. After the, uh, wiping your phone, you have to flash the Havoc OS.zip file. After the installation of ROM, you have to flash the TWRP Inchilada.zip file. After that, you have to flash the root zip file. The root zip file is nothing but the magix file because rom doesn't comes with the root access after the installation of three files finally you have to flash the open gfs arm 64 bit file after the completing the installation of all the four files you have to click on the reboot click on do not install the twr app installation then your phone will boot into the havoc os 8.1 the rom comes with the Havoc OS launcher which is similar to the Android Pixel launcher comes with the, all the features when you go into the settings then about phone you will see the ROM comes with the Android 8.1 with the latest security patch for the 5th July 2018. This ROM is fully stable and it comes with the working Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, your NFC all the things are working. OLT for Geo Sims in India are also working good. So this ROM is the daily driver with the some minor bugs. You can able to set your fingerprint and it's working very fast as compared to your stock Oxygen OS ROM. See this after the initial setup or fingerprint. When I checked it, it's working very fastly. All the customizations for the ROM is under the have OC settings where in the status bar you get the tap to sleep in the status bar, brightness control, clock style, clock and date style. You can change the, you can able to add the clock seconds, you can able to add the AM, PM, you can able to add the date into the, your status bar, you can able to change the icons for your uh, battery, you can able to add the battery percentage you can able to add the whole LT icon but it's a bug that the, this ROM is not uh, adaptable for the notch so that some aspects of the uh, icons get cutted off because of this uh, notch you get the quick setting panel customizations then you get the different panels volume panel customization you get here the Android uh, Pete style of uh, volume rocker logo so it's very good see this it's uh, similar to the Android P you get the ambient display but it's not working here but uh, I think in the next update will it will be get fixed you get the full screen apps you get the expanded uh, desktops you can able to change the theme to the dark one you can able to change the ascent colors See this, uh, these are the some settings for the um, theming of the ROM. You get the auto magic option. In the interface, you can able to add the different styles of fonts. With the ROM comes with the bunch of the uh, fonts. You can able to blur your status bar. Under the lock screen customization, you can able to add the different types of clock widgets. You can add the analog clock. You can able to change the color of fonts. You can able to change the font style of your lock screen. So it's a highly customizable option. Uh, so that you can change the different aspects of your lock screen. You can able to add the double tap to sleep option. So so this lock screen customization comes with a handful of great features so that you can theme your lock screen as per your requirement so see this i have customized it I, uh, the lock screen looks very good in the recent you get the clear all button you get the deep clear option 
you can change the clear uh, all button position you can add the different types types of uh, clear all button their customization you can give the animation to the clear all button you can able to change the position of clear all button and you also get the recent different types of recent style this is the stock one Uh, see this you get the memory barrier you get the clear all button with the different customization you get the grid type of recents you also get the android go type of recents uh, see this this is the android go uh, you get the slim recents also there so the lots of features are available for uh, this omni switch is also there but uh, it's not working it's a bug i have tested it in the notification you can change the notification lights in the dnd battery light notification light so in the animation you get the screen of animation which comes with the crt scale type of screen of animation you get the overall system animation like android p you get the list view animations you get the quick setting panels tab animation see this this looks very nice you get the toast animations you get you can able to change the scrolling catchy of your uh, rom you can able to add the feature option to your lock screen and in your status bar you can able to change the buttons their customizations is also available in the navigation bar you can add the double tap to sleep you get the smart bar fling option you get the dynamic nav bar which changes with the color of your rom your uh, theme or wallpaper so this this is this is the fling and under the fingerprint tab you get the some customizations option but there are some bugs there they are not working properly under the battery saving you get the some options to save your battery then under the screen you get this enable screen stabilization option you get the smart pixel option so that you can skip the some pixels of the screen off so that it will save the battery it you get the prevent screen burn on option also Uh, so you get the trust which is the line of jos feature which is the security option for this rom so this rom is very good and it performing very fast as compared to stock rom and i like this rom very much the in case of camera the camera quality is okay but uh, it's not as good as the stock oxygen os rom uh you get uh, the most of the uh, options into the camera settings but the this camera doesn't comes with the portrait mode for the front and the back camera uh in the video recording you get the 4k video recording like your stock oxynos rom the front camera is also working so that's it guys finally you got this customizable rom and it's getting updated day by day so like this video subscribe this channel thank you